When the fire blight pathogen infects the woody tissues of the tree, it can cause cankers. Cankers are basically concentrated sites of infection uh, in the wood. They can come in all sizes. Cankers can form on very small branches here. Uh, they can form on the main trunk of the tree as, as we see down below. Uh, basically, cankers are important for two reasons. One, uh, they represent an overwintering site for the pathogen. The pathogen will survive in these cankers during the winter. Uh, cells will ooze out of pathogens again the following spring, causing infections the next spring. But number two, uh, major importance is that cankers can kill uh, the branches on which they form. In this case, this canker is taking out this small branch here, uh, but much more importantly to this tree, uh, the canker on the main stem at the base of the trunk here is going to take out this, this whole tree. This tree will have to take this gala tree out this year uh, because the pathogen has killed it with this canker. The first signs of shoot infection from a canker source in an orchard are usually the occurrence of shoot blight in a single tree or in a couple of adjacent trees. Within a single tree, the canker is located up high in the tree. Shoot blight symptoms may be concentrated on one side of a tree in a cone type pattern. This is evidence of rain splash dispersal of cells from the canker. Wind can also contribute to move cells into shoots from adjacent trees. What's important to remember is that once the first wave of shoots are infected, secondary spread will continue from these shoots throughout the summer. And these secondary cycles can occur fairly rapidly, and so the bacterium can quickly spread from these infected blighted shoots to all these healthy, still growing shoots throughout the summer. On highly susceptible cultivars such as Gala and Jonathan, it's quite common to see ooze exuding from shoots prior to even seeing visible symptoms of wilt. And again, this ooze is the bacterium encased in its biofilm and its sugary matrix, protected from the environment, ready to spread to, and infect new shoots. And this is just a sign of how quickly the pathogen moves systemically through the infected shoot and becomes ready to infect new shoots.